Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and if you hadn't heard, Gmail now has IMAP support. Yay! And I'm going to show you how to set it up with two different mail clients. Both of them are free, Outlook Express and Mozilla Thunderbird. First of all, I'll show you how to get to IMAP. Now, at the time of this recording, it's not in regular Gmail yet, but it will be very soon. It's in uh, Google Apps Mail, and I happen to have uh, Google Apps for my domain email. What I do is I click on Settings at the top right. And then you'll notice a new section here, or actually I should say a modified section called forwarding and pop slash IMAP. So I click that right at the bottom here. It shows IMAP access. Status, it is enabled. And I have it ticked so it says enable IMAP. Now it's important, because I'm going to kind of rush through this a little bit, that you read the configuration instructions. When you click on this link, it'll bring you to another web page. And uh, everyone has Outlook Express. It's been in Windows since, I think, ever since Windows 98. So everyone has Outlook Express. And uh, Thunderbird can be downloaded by uh, mozilla.com slash Thunderbird. You can also just Google it. If you go to Google and just search for Thunderbird, I'll give you an example here. If I go to google.com and I just search for Thunderbird, all is one word, and click I'm feeling lucky, it takes me directly to the Thunderbird mail client and you can download it right from there. It's available for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. So it's honestly, I feel it's the best mail client that ever existed. That's a personal opinion. I know that, but I think it's awesome. Anyway, let's take a look at um, Outlook Express first. This is Outlook Express. This, uh, I'm sorry, nope, that's Thunderbird. Sorry, there's Outlook Express. This is Outlook Express when configured with a Gmail account. And uh, what I did to do this is I launched Outlook Express first. And if you don't know where that is, by the way, you click on Start, then All Programs, and you'll see it on the uh, on the end here. You'll see a little link for Outlook Express. It's under all, all Programs. That's where it's located. I went to Tools and then Accounts. And then what I did is I clicked on the Mail tab right here, and then I clicked Add Mail. And then the properties for this Mail account, it's very simple. Um, actually, gonna, let me change this to my email address. You put in your name and your email address, simple enough, uh, except you would be at gmail.com instead of, you know, I have domain mail for Google Apps, so you would put gmail.com. The servers, it's an IMAP server. The incoming server is imap.gmail.com. The outgoing server is smtp.gmail.com. Your account name is your entire email address. Your password is the password you use for Gmail. You have to make sure on the outgoing mail server to tick the option that says my server requires authentication and it's your Gmail account username and password. On the advanced tab, this is something to pay attention to or else it will not work. The outgoing mail port number has to be 465 and the incoming mail has to be 993. Both of these checkboxes where it says the server requires a search, excuse me, secure connection must be checked. If they're not, it will not work. On the IMAP tab, you don't have to worry about that. And then you log in. Now, what will happen is on the left side, you'll have a Gmail folder and then all the Gmail things, all mail, draft, sent mail, spam, start, and trash. This is, as you know, very familiar to the Gmail interface. And these folders down here are actually tags that I set up in Gmail and it imported them directly into uh, Outlook Express. So yes, there is folder support, or should I say pseudo folder support. So if you have a tag in Gmail and you bring it into IMAP, it will make it as a folder. That's pretty cool. I think that's great. Also, when you're looking at mail, you'll notice that you'll see these little red flags in the inbox view. What this is is a starred message. So anything that you've tagged as a star, you can uh, see as a little red flag here, and you can untag it if you want to and put it back at know easy enough you can double click a message to read it or you can have the pane view whatever you want to do and that's basically how to do Outlook Express now in Thunderbird let me just bring that up here now Thunderbird this is the reason why this is better first of all I'll show you how to do the account setup we click on tools and then account settings and then you just add an account on the server settings the server name is imap.gmail.com port 993 with SSL ticked and on the, the only one you have, only other one you have to worry about is the outgoing server SMTP, where it shows a Gmail setting, and you have to make sure it's port 587. 
with TLS checked and a username and password. Those that use Gmail know how to do this already and the instructions uh, on the uh, Gmail site explain how to do this verbatim. It's very easy to do. Now the difference between one and the other, first of all, is that this one actually shows stars. You see star columns here. Also, you look on the uh, on the other side here in the folder view, you'll see that it actually looks more like folders than Outlook Express does. Uh, in addition to that, the cool thing about this is, uh, let me just load an email here. If I highlight this one, for example, uh, actually, let me uh, highlight another one here. Let's, uh, let's try this one. Actually, you know what? I'll go into SendMail. Okay, so if, if I look at this and I want to tag it, you can actually tag it with a specific color like red. And that's just cool. You can just use red or you can use orange or you can use uh, green or you can use whatever you want. I, th I think that's fantastic. So uh, let me remove the tag from there. Tagging support is important. You also have a, a better search function in Thunderbird than you do with when you do with the uh, Outlook Express client. Both of them essentially act the same way. I just prefer the Thunderbird client because when you look at it, it just seems to make more sense and it's a little more clean and streamlined and everything. Now, for those using regular Outlook, not Outlook Express, you can do IMAP support and it probably does the same flagging uh, that it does in the um, Outlook Express client. Now, what I find is the biggest advantage to using this over the web-based version is you see over here the size column. It actually shows the sizes of the emails. If I want to sort by size, I can. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. You cannot do that in Gmail. That has been a long time gripe of mine. I wish that you could. As a matter of fact, you can sort by any column you want up here. And as a matter of fact, look at all these column choices you got. You can do account priority, unread total, order received, you know, all this stuff. Uh, you can also do something in Thunderbird, which is called a threaded view. Like, for example, let me just uh, put a couple of these together. Like, I have a Google alert here, and I can expand it, and it shows, you know, the, the next thread. So you can actually do a threaded view. Can't do that in Gmail either. It's nowhere in the system. So there are advantages to using the client. And, of course, there are people like myself that are longtime Thunderbird freaks. We love the Thunderbird email client. I'm so happy it works in Gmail now. I think it's great. So uh, if you don't have G uh, excuse me, IMAP access yet in your Gmail, don't worry. It is coming soon. It works perfectly. Uh, some of you may not like using a client. Some of you may choose to stick with Gmail as in the web-based version, but I'll tell you something, there is literally no excuse now not to use a client. If you miss Thunderbird and want to go back to it, you can. Oh, I should notice something else too. When you actually send an email, it does drop it into the sent mail folder on the Gmail account. That's fantastic. That was a long time gripe of mine doing it with the uh, pop way. It's much better to do it the IMAP way. So uh, I'll have a little more information on this soon, but this is just a quickie video saying if you have Google Apps, you can do it now. If you have regular Gmail, you'll be able to do it soon. It works. It's cool. It's awesome. I think it's great. Take it easy.